Social media is built to get you addicted by using what is called the casino effect. Multiple studies do show that our abilities to concentrate have significantly dropped. Social media was supposed to be social, but nowadays it's anything but social. It's all about me lower self-esteem, increased anxiety, increased depression. Social media makes us constantly compare ourselves to others. We start to believe that everyone else has it all figured out, while mine sucks. I realize more and more how superficial we've become as a society. Where has humanity gone? Hi everyone, it's me Sayako. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've been here on YouTube. Reason being, I mean, I've just been very busy, which is completely normal. But on top of that, if I were to be completely honest with you, I have been struggling about my thoughts for social media. Like something bothers me and I couldn't really articulate what that was up until now, hence the break. But I figured that if I'm feeling this way, maybe some of you guys are feeling this way too. And so today I thought to sort of take this opportunity and share with you my honest thoughts about social media right now. So scrolling through social media nowadays, I realize more and more how superficial we've become as a society. There is so much content out there that just like glamorizes the wrong things like overnight results, instant gratification, quick cash, and it seems like we've forgotten that in reality, real success and building a solid foundation really takes time and effort. To me, it looks like we've become so impatient and we give up if we don't see the results immediately. It feels like we've lost sight of values, of long-term goals, and the deep meanings that come from persistence, loyalty, and hard work. And instead, what I often see on social media nowadays is people chasing quick results, also promoting borderline inappropriate behavior, like being super rude or being heartless. And I personally have a problem with that. So today in this video, we're going to be discussing things like the danger of social media for our psychology and the casino effect that keeps us all addicted. I'm going to talk about the comparison trap, the illusions that we falsely believe on social media that are actually so different from reality and the... <laughs> I don't know how to put this, but just like the cringy content nowadays that promote nothing but like narcissism and instant gratification. Yeah. I'm also going to talk from a content creator's perspective about the struggles of trying to stay authentic on social media, which can be sometimes such a struggle because first of all, there's a lot of noise out there. So you almost have to like exaggerate in order to be heard. And second, because there is this overwhelming pressure to consistently post and come up with new ideas. So we're going to talk about that. And then at the very end of this video, I will be reflecting on why this is still worth it to me, the purpose of why I actually started YouTube in the first place, and what I intend to do with this channel moving forward. Forgive me, this might be a little bit of a rant, but here we go. All right, so let's admit it. We have all been there where we find ourselves just like spending a little bit too much time doom scrolling on social media without really realizing it. Like we say to ourselves, like, I'll just take a quick look at Instagram during my break. And then we end up spending like 30 minutes or like an hour of our precious time just like swiping through useless content. Why do we do this? Like what makes us engage in these crazy behaviors? <laughs> like it's not like we feel any better afterwards. Many of the times actually we feel worse about ourselves than we when we actually started. We are caught in this toxic cycle where we know that it's not making us happy but it seems like we can't really stop and this is no accident because social media is built and programmed to get you addicted by using what is called the casino effect all right so what is the casino effect 
This is basically a psychological tactic that uses certain techniques to create addictive behavior. So this is similar to how casinos keep gamblers playing. So how does this work? So for example, every time you refresh your fee or check your notifications, you're anticipating something new and exciting. And this is exactly like being in a casino where you're pulling the lever on the slot machine and sometimes you hit the jackpot by getting a lot of likes and comments and other times you're not really getting anything special and this unpredictability of reward is exactly what keeps us coming back for more we crave that next big hit of dopamine and this is how social media uses the casino effect to keep you hooked so the question is why exactly is that a problem? A couple of reasons. First, diminished attention spans. So have you ever noticed that you are less able to concentrate nowadays? If you do, you're not actually imagining this. It is completely true according to multiple studies. Mindless scrolling is known to diminish attention spans. It like literally reduces your ability to focus on single tasks. Why? Because, like, if you know that something is not really interesting on your phone, you can just, like, scroll away to the next thing. Because there's, like, an endless amount of content out there on your phone. So obviously, we become much more impatient. We almost feel entitled to quick results. And multiple studies do show that our abilities to concentrate have significantly dropped. Second, the comparison trap. Social media makes us constantly compare ourselves to others. We literally start to question why our lives are not as perfect as those that we see on Instagram. Like for example, you might see your friends or some influencers just posting these beautiful like vacation photos from like these beautiful exotic places in luxurious resorts while you might just be sitting at home feeling like super stuck in your daily routine or you see these ultra toned sexy bodies you know working out in gyms and you might be thinking like why don't i look like that yet i've been working out as well maybe i'm not that attractive and this constant exposure to these idealized images can lead to lower self-esteem, increased anxiety, increased depression, and these could all lead to unhealthy behaviors like excessive spending, excessive dieting, even overworking in some cases, and like it can take a lot of internal willpower to not be affected and to not compare yourselves with others when you see all these posts on social media. All right, another problem is reality versus social media. We start to believe that everyone else has it all figured out, which is completely untrue. When we are constantly bombarded with these perfect contents, we forget that there is a significant difference between reality and what people portray on social media. So on social media, people tend to share their best moments, you know, like vacations, celebrations, achievements, whatever you name it, because it is a highlight reel, but it's not real. These are carefully selected snapshots that show only the most exciting and attract attractive aspects of their lives. And this is very different from reality. And don't forget that these are usually highly staged to look spontaneous and they are also highly edited post-production. And this creates the illusion that their lives are so perfect and problem-free while mine sucks. And this made me even question myself. I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, maybe I am doing something wrong. I almost found myself being envious of these, like, so-called easy lifestyles that some influencers claim to have. And look, what is fascinating about this is that it's almost like the more shallow and superficial you can be, the better it is for the algorithm because it's, like, catchy. Oh, which leads me to my next point for cringy content. The current trend of 
really crunchy and like borderline inappropriate content that promote nothing but narcissism, instant gratification, superficiality, and uh, sometimes just like pure stupidity. There, <laughs> I said it. I don't want to be super critical, but scrolling on social media nowadays, I realized we have become so superficial as a society. Like sometimes the things that I come across are just so appalling and degenerating that I'm just like, where has humanity gone? What happened to us? Like social media was supposed to be social and connect you to other people. But nowadays, it feels like it's anything but social. It's all about like me to show off my work, to get people to admire me, look what I did, look how much money I made, right? And it's almost like you have to follow uh, these trends in order to stay in the game and be relevant in today's world. And I don't really like that. I, I feel like that's not me. Like at one point, I was like, I feel completely confused and paralyzed. I don't know how to post anything without sounding like a, an absolute narcissist or an idiot. <laughs> Which brings me to my last point. Number five, the content creator's dilemma. As a mini content creator myself, I can tell you that this whole social media thing takes like an unbelievable amount of time and effort and energy but it's still worth pursuing if i can help even one person along the way and maybe change their lives for the better if i can share my knowledge or just share my experiences with others then i feel like all the effort is worth it but that being said i think it is also very very hard to be authentic and to have this deep connection with people in a four second reel like of course i want to keep on doing instagram and i will but nowadays instagram is becoming more and more video based than picture based as it was before and this is exactly why i think that youtube long format will still probably be my favorite format because of the just because of the depth of discussions that you can get into. I initially started this channel because I wanted to find a way to contribute to society somehow. This thought actually came from a very dark place for me where I couldn't really find any meaning or light in my life. I couldn't really figure out the meaning of all this struggle. And in the midst of that darkness, I realized that by sharing my story in the most truthful ways, both the ups and downs, not just the glamorous parts, but also the hardships, I realized that I might be able to help one person out there who was silently struggling, who didn't say anything, who put on a brave face every day, but was silently suffering. And it was my hope that by doing so, I could convert my struggles into meaning. All right, so moving forward, I will keep on creating content on this channel, but I wanna be truthful as possible. And that means that I will be emphasizing quality over quantity. Why? Because I feel a deep sense of responsibility to use my own voice for good causes. And I think that is the responsibility that you should have when you start to develop these kinds of community. And I think there's just so much more to it than to just chase the quantifiable metrics. I realize how lucky I am to have what I have. And so I want to share my experiences and my knowledge uh, with other people instead of keeping them all to myself because that would be like selfish, right? And if by sharing my story with you, I get to inspire or educate or even empower any one of you here, then that makes me very happy. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for listening today. And I know that it was a little bit of a rant today, but that's okay. I just wanted to share with you my honest thoughts about how I currently feel about social media. I hope you stay with me on this journey because there will be more videos coming. And if you enjoyed watching this video, you might like this video over here as well, where I talk about how convenience is ruining 
your life. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.